Okay guys, now we're in the Sportsnet studio. I'm here with Pav. Uh, you know, we're huge fans of creativity in the sport, so we're gonna break down some creative goals from over the years in the NHL. It's gonna be some fun. Yeah, these are some of our favorite plays, so let's get right to it here. All right, we got Dadsuk here, my boy. I remember this goal perfectly. Just goes with the pullback. You can see as he fakes a low far side, cuts in on the inside edge as he pulls it back with the backhand. Just gross. You remember being a kid watching this, bud? So nostalgic. Oh I remember watching the, the it, compilations on YouTube of that yeah. too, just undressing defenders, right? He was so ahead of his time. It's and look at the, this next one on Vukun. I mean, he's sprawled out on 4th Street. Uh, this <laughs> one was in a shootout, but my God, he's just flopping like a fish. And uh, no one knew you could do that to a goalie until Datsuk did uh, the Magic Man. The Magic Man, he's innovative. Oh, well man. ahead of his time. Oh, this is the cooch. Okay, no move, move. This blew the hockey world's minds, and I swear to God, I got a thousand kids DMing me them doing this move after this happened. Unbelievable! Like Just, this, this definitely took over TikTok for about oh, a month. It was uh, like this was pretty crazy. The audacity! So he just fakes to shoot it. Uh, and it, or sorry, he shoots it and then he fakes to go backhand to go forehand. Just leaves the puck, lets it slide five hole. The confidence to do that at the NHL level and just let the puck guide itself in, like, <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, I'm poor. Lover. I remember people were saying he didn't even mean to do it. People didn't even yeah, understand, no, right? People, people didn't think, but he knew full well what he oh, was doing. We got next here. Oh, this is up your alley, bud. Oh I've yeah, this is. A, this. Oh, is this a Matthews attempt? No. Oh, this was Stutzla. Oh That's no, the clap Tim. Bomb. Out of the air. Oh wow. So That's yeah, this do, was bud. the uh, pending uh, copyright, the always hockey yeah. slap shot here. So I've been doing this in my driveway for years, always working on the hand eye, always timing that puck when it comes down. And it was actually funny enough that Stutzla sent me a message before that game, and then he went out there and got his first NHL goal with an always hockey slap shot. It was unbelievable. I was really jumping around oh, the living room. Un unreal. I remember losing sight of the puck. I didn't even <laughs> see the puck, guy, and it was in the net. I didn't know what he did. You can look at the defenders like here. 20 feet in the air up No there. one knows where it is. They're just looking at, at Stutzla there, and he just rips a bomb without seeing the puck because they, they don't even know where it is. But just that, obviously, uh, you know, you can attest to this, the hand-eye, the timing of uh, the slap shot like this. Just hoping to get some good wood on it. I can watch it that all that. day. Unreal. <laughs> Unbelievable. Okay, I think I know this one here. This is the uh, Matthews feeds to Marner. Oh. Backhand toey between the legs. Oh. He does this a lot. Uh, he uses the backhand toe drag a lot, but this one you can see he picks it up behind himself in that shooting position and he beats the defender and the goalie all with that one move. So loaded up like he's gonna shoot. Backhand toe drag between the legs, shovels it in. Just such a gem. What hands on the kid. He actually tucked it five hole there, right? Oh man. That was wild. Just uh, unreal. And you can see how he gets that pass back a bit there. Not in the greatest shooting position, but it's loaded up, right? So he's got it loaded up so he can shoot. Burns is facing backwards, trying to hustle back, being late on the play. And uh, Marner just takes full advantage. Great awareness, putting it to a shooting position oh. from a less than ideal position on the reception there. Yeah, look at his reaction too. Just no big deal. Yeah, just another, oh. another day in the park oh, for Marner. So slick. Sick hands on the kid, man. So fun to watch. Can't get over Matthew's mustache too. That's unreal. That's gross. All oh, right. this was one of the most exciting things to have in the NHL this year. <laughs> I saw, that I got to see this live, thankfully, and I'm usually not a big Pens guy, but... You're at this game. No, oh, no, sorry, I was watching oh. it on my laptop, obviously, oh, no buddy. fans, right? But uh, oh, I, I yeah. saw that, and I was <laughs> jumping around. I, I couldn't believe Crosby actually attempted the backhand Michigan behind the net. Like, man. Oh, yeah, you can see the goalie there, Shesterkin, I think. He has his head tilted behind. He can see him the whole time. So if Crosby would have made a fake to his forehand, maybe, he might have had enough space to actually tuck that. Yeah. But yeah, the goalie good, didn't react, good point. right? And, and, I mean, that's the first backhand Michigan attempt we've seen in the NHL, but he's no stranger to the Michigan. Did it in Ramuski yep. many years ago yep. in the queue. Uh, he's He's got the tricks. He doesn't show them all the time. He's not an overly flashy yeah. player, but Crosby, man, he can, he can do these moves. Next example here, Sveshnikov, uh, you know, just behind the net there, Perfect. scoops it up. The goalie's down, he's looking the other way. He doesn't have much room to go over the shoulder, but man, my DMs were flooded. I got <laughs> calls from eight of my buddies because I kept telling people this was going to go in in the NHL eventually. Everyone kept saying NHL's, uh, you know, too fast, you know, defenders are too good. There's open space out there. He took full advantage and now he's done it twice.
Oh yeah, a big part of this move is that big stop up behind the net. Had the defender stuck on that far side of the post so he couldn't get back over to sort of slash Sveshnikov's stick there. To sort Absolutely. of block that Michigan move, right? Yeah, and, and you know what? Just think of this as an elevated wraparound, right? I mean, exactly. the, the goalie's looking over the shoulder. He's unsure of whether or not he has the puck on the ice or on his blade. And on this next one, Philip Forsberg oh, turns good. the blade over and actually scoops it under the toe. I've used this curve before. Oh. It's quite uh, a lot easier, easier with that? it because he's yeah. got that big whip uh, on the toe but my god to do it at speed he t attempted this quite a few times before this it was great to see him finally connect that's probably one of my favorite Michigan goals to date for sure yeah. Wow all right this next one Texier an effortless shootout goal the one-handers look sick but how about a little uh, I'm gonna shoot no I'll just one hand between your legs a little sauce over the paddle bud little shades of Barkov there oh, eh? buddy. against Florida too Barkov Barkov shaking his head he hasn't done this one yet Five hole, oh. but he has done the one hander over the uh, pad far side there. But my God, this was on every highlight reel, and just the audacity the to do that. Oh, oh. How, how embarrassed do you feel as the goalie on that? But I mean, credit the guy. Uh, this has been done actually before in Sweden in the SHL a few times. Uh, they didn't sauce it over the paddle there, but a great way to expose. And you really do have to notice with these moves when you're a lefty, you have an, a, a bit of an advantage because the def or the goalie's blocker side, the stick side, is over a bit. Yep. So when you make that fake, the uh, five holes a little bit more open if they're catching left uh, than it would be for a righty. Yeah, good catch. Yeah, I didn't actually really think about that. All right, this next one, Patterson paying homage to Peter <laughs> Forsberg. Now, th the main thing with this Young move, Swede. I always tell people is you gotta oh. do that little snow spray. You can see as he does on the left foot to extend your reach and give you more time to slide it in. But you can see him have success with this because he fakes like he's gonna shoot far side, going fake backhand, fake forehand shot to getting the goalie, uh, get the goalie sliding laterally. Pulling all that momentum over and then throwing it back last minute, right? That's just that's just a young Swede pulling off the old Swede move. That's oh, amazing buddy. to see. You know he grew up watching uh, Peter Forsberg, oh. Oh, you know, yeah. uh, wanting to do that, but uh, Okay, this one I don't oh, think duh. we can play enough, but just look at the eyes of McDavid. This one. You know, he's he's faking like he's waiting for pressure and he's cutting it across on the angle and you can see him catch Riley here in no. a crossover. Just that quick weight shift with the eyes looking off to the side. But the greatest thing about this clip I find is he's looking like he's waiting for uh, numbers to catch up to him and Riley's aware of that. Then he goes from a slow speed and then you know McDavid just switches the gears and he's going a million miles an hour and what can you do? <laughs> and you know you McDavid's thinking, I'm taking this puck to the net oh, the he whole knew the time. Whole time. Dude, before he even he looks back, McDavid's taking that puck to the net. I mean, I say it all the time, you can't say it enough. His vision, <sighs> where he's looking, uh, and those simple weight shifts, and then that finish he does, that backhand, forehand flip, he does that so many times. But just that quick fake while looking off the other way, that's how you do it, kids. You gotta watch this uh, this player here, just slowing down those speed differentials there, and then the quick cut, uh, and just explodes around him. Unbelievable. Goal. No one with better edge work to make that move. That's just amazing. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching me and Pavel Barber. I hope you enjoyed the videos. We're super excited to show you guys the rest of them. They're all coming out on Sportsnet's YouTube channel, so make sure you hit that subscribe button to see more of our crazy content. Ah. <sighs>